Since 1948, the American Society of Human Genetics has been committed to realizing the benefits of human genetics and genomics research for people everywhere. As thousands of geneticists, researchers, and educators come together for the annual Global Interdisciplinary Gathering, only ASHG TV is taking you beyond the sessions and speeches. Welcome to Denver, Colorado and to ASHG 2024. I'm Atria Godfrey, your host this week, and we are here to highlight how the ASHG is bringing you the most compelling genetics and genomic science of the year. This is ASHG TV. Straight ahead today, we welcome you to ASHG 2024 with a special message from your program committee chair, Dr. Beth Sullivan. The American Society of Human Genetics is committed to ensuring that people everywhere realize the benefits of human genetics and genomics research. And you, our members, are paramount to that vision. Plus, we take you inside both ASHG journals. We'll dive deep into how these publications serve the rapid expansion of discoveries in human genetics and genomics. And we kick off our tour highlighting the institutions breaking new ground in genetics research with a stop in England. We're introducing you to the Generation Study, transforming how we diagnose and treat genetic conditions in newborns. It's an exciting start to our week here in Denver and there are plenty of ways for you to watch. You can find the latest ASHG TV episode airing on the TVs here in the Convention Center, on the in-house channels at our local partner hotels, on the homepage of the ASHG Meeting website and on our social media channels, so make sure you like and subscribe to get all the ASHG TV content right at your fingertips. We get started on this first day with a very warm welcome from your ASHG 2024 Program Committee Chair, Dr. Beth Sullivan. Hello, I'm Dr. Beth Sullivan, 2024 ASHG Program Committee Chair. On behalf of everyone at the American Society of Human Genetics, I'd like to officially welcome you to the 2024 annual meeting and to an incredible week of robust scientific content. Thank you for joining us here in Denver, Colorado, and we hope you take advantage of all the wonderful things the Mile High City has to offer. We are so excited to have you as part of this year's annual meeting. The ASHG team has worked tirelessly to make this the premier genetics and genomics gathering of the year. Over the next five days, we will offer a broad spectrum of topics, including new technologies, applications, research, professional development, and networking to showcase the most compelling science of the year and to allow our members to engage with one another. From poster sessions to platform presentations to our three different plenaries, we are committed to ensuring there's something for everyone. We will be offering exciting scientific sessions covering all areas of human genetics and genomics, from complex traits to statistical genetics, population genetics, genetic counseling, to epigenetics. The program committee has been hard at work to ensure that this is a transformative week that meets the needs and interests of all our members. As such, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of those here at ASHG that have dedicated so much of their time, energy, creativity, and work to making this week the most engaging experience possible. The American Society of Human Genetics is committed to ensuring that people everywhere realize the benefits of human genetics and genomics research, and you, our members, are paramount to that vision with the incredible research being unveiled and shared this week. Now, it's my absolute pleasure to officially open the doors and welcome you to the beautiful city of Denver and to the ASHG's 2024 annual meeting. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Genomic medicine plays a major role in personalized medicine. Times have changed rapidly and this genomic platform has really advanced patient care immensely during the last decade. The mission of the Department of Genomic Medicine is to improve the understanding and advancement of uh, genomic platforms to support patient uh, diagnostics and precision medicine for all of our patients at the hospital. 
The areas we focus on are patients with cancer. We also focus on patients with rare disease. That can be patients with immune deficiencies or it can be rare inborn errors. The Department of Genomic Medicine collaborate with a broad range of national and international collaborators. And we also upload and provide all our insights into the database. And it's really what brings the field forward. Membership in ASHG provides a wide range of benefits and opportunities that assist scientists of all career stages. We wanted to hear straight from you how being a member of ASHG has benefited you the most. Being a member of ASHG allows me to connect with other researchers doing similar things. Also the ASHG journal is a really wonderful source of information and also we publish there as well. And also for career opportunities and networking. So being a member of ASHG, uh, coming from a low to middle income country helps me with access to channels. And of course mentorship that you get and the you know, networking aspects of it as well. So it's such a pleasure to be part of a, um, this whole network and just being able to you know, communicate as, as professionals as well. So thank you. The good thing about the uh, ASG, American Society of Human Genetics, is that they are providing the fellowships for the students. So uh, they can apply their knowledge to their uh, respective countries to uh, give the information about the genetic diseases, the people who are unaware of it. So this is the great platform for the networking. Membership into ASHG provides me opportunities for like the access to the journals and the learning opportunities. I like being able to um, access like the meeting and also for networking. I can talk to the other members, so it's been great being a member. Well, I'm very excited about meeting all the people, uh, networking with them, um, get to know new things and meet people of a lot of companies and from all around the world, yeah. The Genomics Medicine Laboratory started in the mid-90s with a research line on locomotor diseases and I set up a genomics facility also around that time and that combination of research in the facility has helped to make the group grow, uh, working on uh, providing technology and services uh, for generating data in big biobanks and cohort studies and also making research happening in those big biobanks. And through that we made a lot of discoveries through the genome-wide association studies mainly. Uh, and now we want to bring this, uh, all this information and knowledge uh, to fruition into uh, hospital settings but also maybe in, in prevention. Well, I've uh, been fortunate enough to have talented people in the group now who are, have become professors, so they are leading their own research lines and they will uh, continue with making these discoveries, but also applying this in clinical settings. We have several projects where this is happening now here at Erasmus, but also internationally to make use of genetic information for clinical diagnostics, treatment, but also in prevention settings. so exciting. 75 years is such a long time. And what an amazing experience it's been being part of the society and, and really a partner with the journal. And I was fortunate to be an associate editor for the journal, so it was a wonderful experience. Just in 1953, 72 years ago, we learned about the structure of DNA. And now that we are able to sequence the genomes of uh, millions of people, of translate that into uh, health and uh, molecular medicines, I think the progress has been enormous. I think the fundamental discovery or the fundamental initiative is still the Human Genome Project. I think without the Human Genome Project, nothing that we have built upon since then would be here. And the Human Genome Project really brought together everything that was built before it in a way that we could now understand exactly what was under those chromosomes. Being exactly a reliable, high quality uh, source of information where people go to publish uh, their important research, their interesting findings. I think that the journal will continue to be that and I certainly hope uh, for that. Uh, also, uh, again, just the source of impactful research that will continue moving the field forward. 
The next 75 years certainly holds the path towards us understanding and deciphering every human genome, having that information in everybody's medical record and interpreting that information over time. I think that there is no question that genomic information being the guiding principle of healthcare uh, will be the found foundational principle of the next 75 years. We think that thousands of children are born each year with a, a rare treatable condition. In the generation study, we're going to be returning findings on more than 200 of those conditions. We're looking for conditions that present in early childhood and that we actually know that we can treat and will make a significant difference to the baby's health. We started with a national public dialogue that really asked the question, should we be doing genome sequencing in newborn babies? Genomics England is a company owned by the UK Department of Health and Social Care. Here in the Generation Study, we're running this research study in partnership with NHS. The study's been going really, really well. We've had an overwhelmingly positive response from families um, wanting to participate. The more we can understand about genes, obviously, the more we can move health forward, tailored to exactly what your child might need. I think that we will be able to take a big leap forward from this, and I think a lot of the families that I've been working with for so long will have a different future and a different outcome. Now to our other exceptional publication by ASHG. Since 2020, the journal HGG Advances has been building the human genetics and genomics knowledge base. And here now is Editor-in-Chief Dr. Michael Bomshad to explain more. Pleasure to have you today. Pleasure to be here. Absolutely. All right. I want to start with what the value of this type of a journal is for your ASHG members. Digital Open Access Publishing is really the future of scientific publishing. Um, ASHG membership, particularly younger members, are highly supportive of Open Access Publishing. Manuscripts published on digital open access platforms are typically uh, available more quickly and more widely uh, than traditional print journals. And there's growing evidence that uh, papers published on digital open access platforms um, uh, are cited more frequently mm. and have a higher impact. So when it comes to ASHG members who may be considering submitting their research to your journal versus AJHG, what differentiates the two? Well, the American Journal of Human Genetics is certainly the flagship journal uh, of the society. Uh, and in many ways, um, HGGA strives to be like its big sister. Okay. <laughs> but since we're a, 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 a digital uh, publishing platform, we have the flexibility of having a, a broader scope than American Journal of Human Genetics. And we can also focus on articles that are more narrowly focused on a topic. Any key trends you're noticing or exciting research that's caught your eye? There is a lot of exciting research <laughs> taking place throughout genetics. I think one of the trends that we've noticed uh, over the past several years is the growing volume of what I would call provisional results that could be highly impactful. And for this reason, uh, this fall we've launched a new article type called a brief communication. So brief communications are highly structured, sh short research articles that report on concise, impactful results. Um, they're limited to 2,500 words, but one of the advantages is that the article processing charge for them is, is only about $1,000 for ASHG members. Okay, so that's a nice little incentive. <laughs> Any advice you'd give? Members of ASHG have a lot of options for publishing their work. The American Journal of Human Genetics and Human Genetics and Genomics Advances um, are two high quality journals that membership should consider for a multitude of reasons. The quality of these journals, which are their society journals, are directly a function of the manuscripts submitted by their membership. And more importantly, um, it provides direct support for the American Society of Human Genetics, and I know that is important to a lot of the membership. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for all of your work as editor in chief, and thank you for your time today. Thank you. And with that, it's a wrap on day one of ASHG TV. Remember, if you missed any portion of today's episode or want to rewatch any segment, you can always find the latest ASHG TV episodes airing right here on the TVs placed throughout the convention center, on the in-house channels at our local partner hotels, on the homepage of the ASHG meeting website, and on our social media channels. So make sure you like and subscribe to get all the ASHG TV content right at your fingertips.
Thanks for joining us here on this first day in Denver. Be sure to join us right back here tomorrow as we will be showcasing all the ways the ASHG is providing you unparalleled educational and career support to take you to the next level. We'll see you right back here tomorrow with brand new content. Have a great day.